What's happening guys? How are y'all? Got our beer video today, but before we get into beer, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications and new videos. Let's get to the beer, man. I got a free beer yet again. It is their Rye Whiskey Imperial Brown. I am unsure if I've done browns on this channel before. I think I have, but it's not something I drink very often. Um, so there may be one, two, possibly three videos on my channel of a brown, but this one is a 2020 vintage, buried for 12 months, comes in at 12.3% ABV. This was bottled on 11-24-20, and today is April 3rd, 2023. So I'll give you guys a look at the back of the bottle there, the descriptor, I believe. There's that 2020. Hopefully the ABV shows up. There we go. You can see that, and then the enjoy at temperature and the bottled on date, and then the front of the bottle is just very, very simple, white and gold. And then you got the little ribbon band at the top there. So let's get this into a glass. See what it looks like. I suppose it can taste like. I, uh, it's been sitting here for maybe five minutes. I pulled out of the fridge uh, not too long ago, about five minutes ago, and it kind of just been sitting there. Um, I don't know. I was going to let it sit for a little longer, but I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I tried getting ahead on this. You kind of saw it, or at least I thought I tried to pour a little uh, more aggressively, but the head was kind of there and then it disappeared. I really am smelling this beer, man. It smells like, it smells like a cocktail kind of. Um, but the head, it was a very light khaki color. I mean, that's kind of all I caught. Maybe you saw more of the camera, but basically when I poured it, I saw it and I put the bottle down, came back to it, it's gone. So it was like a light, light khaki color. Um, the beer itself, putting it away from the light, I can, it's a very dark, dark, can you see it? Nope, not quite. Uh, dark and really black looking beer, but I can kind of tell that it is not black. It's a very, very, very dark, deep brown. Uh, put it into light, yeah. I mean, put it into light, pretty much in the center of the, the glass there. It's gonna be, you know, dark black, basically. But around the glass, um, on the outside, there's gonna be uh, light coming through. And yeah, it's just a very deep, deep, rich, uh, deep, deep, rich brown color. Let's get the aroma. Oh man, yeah, I mean, I poured it, I already smelled it. It smelled sweet, it smelled oaky, it smelled, yeah, like a cocktail kind of. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting a lot of molasses, brown sugar, milk chocolate with a combination of slight hint of dark chocolate, oakiness, maybe even slight cloves going on. Yeah, it just smells, it smells decadent. It, it really does. I know this is a brown, not a stout, not a porter, but it smells decadent. It smells delicious. It smells like a nice latte or cappuccino. And after smelling it for a while, initially my first whiff, I'm like, okay, this definitely has alcohol. But as I'm you know, smelling it, it gets more and more uh, pleasant, pleasant in a good way. Not that the spirit aroma wasn't good it's just it's getting more sweet more uh different flavors are coming into my mind caramel i switch between caramel and caramel in my videos if you didn't notice um not uh, i was gonna say butterscotch but not butterscotch cloves chocolate uh a latte like i was saying or cappuccino yeah it's most delicious let's get into the flavors cheers Oh yeah, that's a sipper, for sure. Not because it's 12.3% ABV, barrel age or whatever, but it's a sipper because there's just so, you would feel bad if you were to just chug this beer. I, I feel, that in my opinion, you would, I would feel bad if I was just to chug this beer because there's so much flavors, like an explosion of flavors. The first sip is just, everything hits you all at once. Chocolate, 
caramel, uh, molasses, brown sugar, coffee, you know, all those things. Uh, slight oakiness, a little tad, tad, touch, touch of smokiness. Uh, like all that hits you all at the same time. It's like amazing flavors. I'm getting slight alcohol burn now as the uh, after effect, and just everything about this is like I don't. Yeah, you can't quite see out the window today. It's on and off, sunny, overcast, not like pouring down rain or whatever. But this is uh, to me, this is the most one of the most, not the most, one of the most ideal and perfect beers for when the weather is like super crappy outside just cold wet just miserable snowing even even better uh, yeah this is one of those winter type beers or cold rainy um, fall days man like this is just yeah mouthfeel I mean there's just a, it's a touch a touch more than water consistency, but not not by much at all. However, the flavors make a like the the flavors are spot on legit. I mean, it's it's a very complex beer in my opinion. It's a very complex beer. Wife's home, dog's gonna go crazy. Apologies, uh, but a very complex beer in that there's so many flavors going on every sip you notice something different. On that time, I got some charred wood, smoky oakiness, I guess, combined to make smoke or charred wood. Whereas my first sip, I didn't get any of that. I got some smokiness, some oakiness, but I didn't put them together, I suppose. It didn't combine to make like smoked wood or charred wood. And the beer is sweet. But it's not so sweet that it's off-putting or you feel like you can only drink, you know, six to eight ounces of it. It has that molasses, brown sugar, sweet characteristic to it, but is not overly done at all. I, I feel like it balances out very well with the smoky oakiness and the coffee. You do get dark chocolate more on the palate towards the end, I suppose, but you do get that sweet milk chocolate up front too so everything kind of really works well together uh, some spices in here I, I'm gonna say there's definitely cloves in here that I'm picking up at least and I would say may slight maybe slight nutmeg at first I thought I got cinnamon on the nose I'm not getting I didn't get cinnamon on the nose I'm not getting it on the palate which is fine uh, but yeah I think everything just works really well really well together to make a uh, winter type beer in my opinion um, yeah, anyways, that was Frames, uh, what is it? Rye Whiskey Imperial Brown, coming at 12.3% ABV, 2020 Vintage. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, comments, questions, and below. And as always, stream your dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.